also liked, um, you know, how he evolved from that character to... to Halloween in January 3i and today I am reviewing Leatherface. Yeah, that is right, Leatherface. The uh, latest installment in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre films. I would say it's about the, the, the eighth installment in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre franchise. Uh, this one, however, is a prequel to the 1974 original so we had the remake in 2003 and we had the prequel to that remake in 2006 but this one is a prequel to the 1974 film um, you know, and it was actually produced by uh, Toby Hooper one of his last pr movies he's produced you know and of course if you know the series he was the director of the original and the second okay so uh yeah uh, this is like the sawyer family and the child one in the family uh jed sawyer or jebatayo uh who is uh you know taken into care because his family are violent people and he gets a chainsaw for his birthday so uh um, we then see it a couple of years later where he's a teenager and there's a bit of a small suspicion on who he is. Which one do you think is going to be Leatherface? Um, so, uh, let's get on to the likes and dislikes. First of all, I didn't like how this turned into a road show. How they went on the run from the local authorities and they kidnapped a nurse. The only good one I that was seen out of, out of the patients, apart from the nurse, was Jackson Sawyer. Uh, there's a big guy in it too called Ike, who is who we think may be Leatherface. But then, um, you know, we discover throughout the film the deterioration of Jackson Sawyer, who becomes, of course, Leatherface. Um, so, I did not like how it turned into a chase movie, you know. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre is about a crazed man in his house creating massacre and shizer. Um, in the Sawyer family, I also did not like how there was the absence of the half-dead grandpa in this one. Um, still had the hitchhiker and stuff and that. So had a mother too, which I can't recall ever being in the original. Uh, double, well, here's... So I told you my like dislikes. How about I get to the positives? I liked how we was guessing who would be Leatherface. I also liked how he looked normal, and you would not think he becomes Leatherface until the movie when he has gets get shot through the face. It disfigures him, and it explains why he gets disfigured and why he ends up wearing a mask made of a human face. Uh, I liked that. It was definitely one of the best prequels out there. Better than the 2006 Texas Chainsaw Massacre the beginning. I also liked, um, you know, how he evolved from that character to Leatherface. Pretty much like Darth Vader when Anakin turned into him. Um, another thing, uh, here's another dislike. I did not like how we did not see him wear a human face until the very end and we never even got a proper good look at it. 
Um, you know, and I think they may be trying to leave it open for another movie, maybe. Uh, this is said like 10 years before the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Uh, so maybe within 10 years they could fit another few prequels in there. But I really hope they don't keep making prequel after prequel. If they're going to make another prequel, then let that be the last one before the original. You know, I mean, I enjoyed this film, but uh, did I had it necessary to be remade? Uh, to be made? Yeah, but I just wish it could have been made better. I wish we could have had more focusing on the family as well as Jackson. And, uh, you know, I wish so much of this could have been done better, but it wasn't. But other than that, I liked how I saw Leatherface turn. I pretty much liked that throughout the movie. The transformation from uh, Jackson to Leatherface. He doesn't really become Leatherface until the end too, so I don't know what that is all about. Um, but other than that, I think it's okay. If you love the franchise, uh, I recommend this. Just don't get your hopes too high. Um, other than that, I uh, thought it was okay. My final thoughts and ratings. So, I thought it was good. Uh, could have been better, but hey, you can't please everyone. And uh, with all that being said, I am going to give Leatherface... I am afraid I'm going to have to give this a two and a half scalpels out of five. Because, you know, I really wish it could have been a bit better. So yeah, two and a half scalpels out of five. I think that's a fair score, so yeah. Uh, so that has been Halloween in January, day uh, 10. So be sure to tune in tomorrow for the 11th day. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to share with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and to hit that notification bell. All the social media links, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram are all linked down below, including our Facebook group, The Random Horror Madhouse, so be sure to check all that out. And until tomorrow, I bid you all, I'll feel say goodbye, and do not have nightmares. Now, let's resume my surgical work. Uh.